morning, boys and girls. Our essential question. How would you generate a plan to order three objects by length? Think of a way that you could correctly order these objects. So our objective, I can order objects by their different lengths. We're starting to talk about measurement. So this is our global awareness. The distance from Greenville, North Carolina to Mongolia, whoa, is 6,374 miles. The distance from Greenville, North Carolina to Greenland is only 2,784. Looking at those two lines, which trip do you think would take the longest? Turn to a brother or a sister or mom or dad and tell them which trip you think would take the longest. So just by looking at those lines, I think the trip to Mongolia would take the longest because it's 6,374 miles away. You would have to get on an airplane to travel to either of those locations. So our vocabulary, I'm going to read the words and then I'll go back and I will record on this slide what each of those words means so that when you're listening and doing your work, you can go back and look through and listen to what those words mean. We have tally mark, data, longest, shortest, length, tally chart, and picture graph. So you guys know that I love to watch the videos first, so that's what we're going to do. One, two, three, four, five. I'm measuring where we need to stand for the beanbag toss. I don't have a ruler or tape measure, so I'm measuring in a different way. How can you measure without a ruler? You can use objects around you to measure things. Yep, you can use crayons to measure. Line up crayons along the object you want to measure. Make sure the crayons are straight and the same size. There shouldn't be gaps between them and they shouldn't overlap. The end of the crayon should line up with the end of the object. This book is four crayons long. If you don't line up the crayons correctly, your measurement won't be accurate or correct. It's important to use the same object when you measure. If you use different objects, you won't get an accurate measurement. Cool robots, Moby. How tall are they? We can use blocks to measure their height. The green robot is four blocks tall. How tall is the red robot? Let's see. It's 10 blocks tall. You're right, Moby. It seems like the red robot is taller because the number is bigger. But I know the green robot is taller. Since the blocks we use to measure are different sizes, it's hard to compare the measurements. When you compare measurements, always use the same object to measure. The green robot is four blocks tall, and the red robot is three blocks tall. How does using smaller or larger objects change your measurement? When you measure using objects, think about the size of the object you want to use. Let's measure this paint kit using paper clips. Let's see, it's six paper clips long. Now let's try measuring with something bigger, like erasers. The paint kit is three erasers long. I'll use more paper clips than erasers to measure the paint kit. When you measure using smaller objects, you use more of them. When you measure with larger objects, you use fewer. What should we use to measure this bookshelf? Pencil sharpeners are pretty small. It'd take a long time to measure this bookshelf. 
you want to use an electric guitar? <laughs> the guitar is longer than the bookshelf. It's easier to use something smaller than the object you're measuring. That's better, Moby. The bookshelf is four pencils wide. A unit is what you use to measure. So the unit we're using to measure is pencils. What are some examples of units? We measure length in units like centimeters or meters. We also measure in units like inches or feet. Standard units are common units that people use so they can describe measurements in the same way. If we didn't measure things in the same way, then we wouldn't understand each other. Building things would be really hard if we didn't use common units. But sometimes you don't have a ruler around, so you can use non-standard units. I need to measure about 10 feet away from the board for the beanbag toss. So I'm walking 10 steps. It looks like we need to stand here for the beanbag toss. You can go first, Moby. Moby, that's not fair. Silly Moby. We know that Moby is normally pretty silly. That's normally how it works. So I'm going to scoot you guys up so we can see this over here. So it says, which number makes the sentence true? Blank is greater than 59. So we need to look at these numbers and see which one is bigger than 59. 57? No, because 57 has seven ones and this has nine ones. So no. 58? No. It doesn't ask which one is equal because if it asked what was equal, it would be 59. So that leaves us with one answer. So 60 is greater than 59. The next one, Kara makes hats for her friends. She makes seven blue hats, whoa, plus six green hats, plus four purple hats. How many hats does she make in all? So how I like to think about this, I look at these and I see that six plus four equals 10. So now it should read seven plus 10. So seven plus 10, we know that when we add, we just add this to the one. So seven plus 10 gives us 17. And the last one, draw a model to show 15. When we draw a model, that means we draw our tens and our ones. So 15 is one 10 and five one. Okay. So these are very, very simple and quick activities that you will be able to do. It is just asking you to draw lines to show which object is longest and which one is shortest. So just looking at those, which one takes up the most space we can look? If we draw a line all the way up, we know that this one would be the longest. And then we can look and see which one takes up the least amount of space. Simple and easy, you are measuring. So longest and shortest. We don't really measure the one that's in between. We just want to know that you know longest and shortest. Here's another example. Draw lines to show which object is longest and which is shortest. Now we have some clues. So use the clues about length to color the crayons. So it says the shortest crayon is green. The shortest crayon is green. I know that some of these look very, very close, but if you look at them, one of the crayons just so happens to be a little bit shorter than the other. So I know that this crayon is green. <laughs> the blue crayon is longer than the red crayon. 
So if the blue crayon is longer and we don't even have a red crayon yet, that must mean that the blue crayon is the longest. So the blue crayon will now be longer than the red crayon. So read the clues to figure out your crayon colors. lines. So you are going to answer this one and you are going to do this last example. One is shorter and one is longer. And then your last activity for today is to compare these objects and complete your envisioned sheets. You need to do pages 600